Okay, you guys have been asking for it for a long time. Dale is getting something that you guys have making suggestions on ever since I got the truck. So stay tuned. So back a couple of videos ago, I did a series of the five things that I hate and the five things I love about Dale. And you guys came back to me with one of the things you hate and that was the mirrors. You all told me to get rid of the mirrors for some reason. I'm not sure why you don't like the white mirrors when everything else is either chromed or polished. Nevertheless, I had a subscriber reach out to me. And that subscriber's name is Josh and he has an Instagram where he's building his own square body. And I'll put that uh, link to his Instagram right here as well as in the description box below. He said he saw an ad for the uh, stainless mirrors on Kijiji and Kijiji is Canada's Craigslist basically so they only wanted like 40 bucks for them so I said hey if you can get them for that as long as they're in good condition let me know I'll send you the money and have and I'll pay to have them shipped to me I'm thinking that's what's in this box so we're gonna crack it open take a look at these mirrors and see just what kind of shape they're in So I really do hope that these are in as good a shape as claimed because I can't wait to get rid of the white mirrors. Although I like the style, I didn't want to have to take them off based on the fact that I would have holes in the door. And so far, those are looking pretty good. And there's one mirror and a little bit of polish and these things will clean right up. And one thing that I didn't want for these mirrors was for them to be brand new. A lot of guys suggested I go out and buy brand new ones. Well, there's hardly anything on the outside of that truck that's brand new. I didn't want to ruin it with a set of shiny new something or other. So these, the fact that they are in a little bit uh, of original condition we'll say are gonna do just fine and look at that he even left me a patch for the Calgary Police Service thanks Josh so guys anytime that I reach out to you and ask you to help me find something doesn't mean I want it for free I offered to pay Josh for these items and the shipping and he gladly did so uh, he was in Canada so it was easy to get it to me just pop it in the mail and away he went uh, it took about uh, no just a little bit under a week to get here across country and uh, all we've got to do now is get them polished up cleaned up and we'll get them mounted on the truck so I'm gonna do that now one of the things that he did make mention of which I thought was pretty neat was that he was gonna label them uh, the right side versus the left side with different color tapes so we know that this blue one is going to go on the passenger side and the green one is going to go on the driver's side it just let me know that each of these pieces all went together so uh, all we've got to do is get the old ones off the new ones on so let's do that now so I've got one of them cleaned up and I wanted to show you guys the kind of before and after so if you look at this one here you'll see how dull it is and then this one here how shiny and cleaned up it is now you can't see yourself in the back of the stainless but it does look like it's an original mirror now one of the things that I like to use when cleaning up stainless is WD-40 why well because it gets rid of any rust stains that may be left over from some of these bolts as well as it gets rid of any adhesive or any other junk that might be on the, the uh, surface you're trying to clean and also we used it on the rubbers as well as the mirror itself and man I look pretty handsome in that mirror so we get to cleaning that other one and then we'll go over and we'll get them installed on the truck before I go and put the new ones back on the driver's side this is exactly what I was talking to you guys about having three holes in the door 
had I opted to go with the sport mirrors, which are the smaller ones. I didn't want to have those protruding out of there like so, and somebody suggested that yes, I could go and put the screws back in it to, to cover up the holes. Nevertheless, they're still there, and well, it just doesn't look like it belongs there. So that's why I wanted to stay with that style and find the perfect set of stainless mirrors. So I'm gonna go grab the driver's side and I'm gonna get that installed and then we're done with this video. So there are the new stainless mirrors installed on the truck, on the passenger side, as well as the driver's side. Everything is working perfect. The only thing is I don't have the stainless uh, screws to match. I'll have to pick some of those up and get those on. And there was somebody somewhere in a chat or a forum or even on one of my YouTube videos claimed they wanted the white ones. And I've got to go back through and see if I can find that person and, uh, and make sure that he still wants them and get those out to him. Josh, the fellow that found these for me, is also our first place winner of the Old Car Guy 4000 subscriber giveaway. I've already ordered the Old Car Guy t-shirt and he's also getting the Square Body Goons t-shirt, a hat and a sticker for his truck. So thanks again, Josh, for everything that you did for me and uh, taking your time to go out and uh, meet up with this guy and get those things bought. And they do look amazing on Dale. So now we're gonna close out this video with the standard spiel about the Car Guy and Six Fan Show every Thursday evening at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern. We alternate each week from my channel to Grant Tommy's, who is straight six fan. And for the next two weeks, it will be on my channel. So. Grant's on vacation and I'm having to pick up the slack. Thanks a lot, Grant. No, I'm kidding. He may be with us in the chat, uh, depending on where he's able to pick up some Wi-Fi signal. We're just a couple of car guys talking cars and occasionally we do have some guests on the show with names like Robbie from United By Trucks, as well as Kevin from Junkyard Digs. And most recently we had Emily and Aaron from Flying Sparks Garage. Dylan McCool was there once too, so guys, you're not going to want to miss the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. We've always got something cool lined up for you. Having said all that, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.